Hello everyone and welcome back to To Wonder Freely. We're happy to see you again. Uh, we actually have an operation going on today in Aunt Gladdy. So since we have winterized Aunt Gladdy, we took all the food out, we cleaned the entire inside, but she's sitting in the woods. So we kind of figured we would have a problem, so we kept coming back and checking and finally Chris has found some evidence of mice. So our first step for dealing with this problem is getting the area completely clean and getting those smells out of here. So we're going to be using some vinegar and we're also going to be using a shop vac and we are going to completely clean the area. working his way um, all the way back into the bedroom and checking the bathroom and under the uh, grates as well just in case and we decided to just go ahead and do almost like a spring cleaning even though it's kind of midwinter so we're cleaning all those areas even though the only place that we really found evidence of mice is below our kitchen sink here and below the counters so that's really the only place we've seen it so we're really grateful for that uh, and oh Chris right. said that Nightstands, I found another one of these guys. Oh, acorns. <laughs> Random acorns in the bedroom. So it's a good thing that we're checking everywhere and cleaning <laughs> everywhere. Everywhere. So, continuing. Alright, so step one is complete. We got everything vacuumed out and cleaned up. Now we're on to step two, which is to fill up as many of those cracks and voids as we can. I'm going to start with the spray foam and get some of the larger cracks, mainly where water lines and such are going down through the floor so we're going to fill those in first So I'm done with the spray foam, got all the larger openings with that. Now there's a couple of smaller openings we're going to go around with the caulk gun and just kind of seal those in. And as a final step, we want to leave our deterrent to try to keep the mice from coming in in the first place. So um, we decided, we opted, you know that we are into natural living and uh, we want to make sure that we put something in here that's going to deter mice but is also not toxic to us. So um, we actually decided to go with a mixture of water and essential oils and then also you take that and you put it into diatomaceous earth. Now diatomaceous earth is actually um, I think if you looked at like what is it really made of, it's it's actually like mostly silica. It's um, tiny, 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 tiny little things like diatoms long time ago that are fossilized and now they dig up that ground and they make it into a powder. So it's basically like mostly silica um, in composition. I actually have some because I used it for other things. Um, I used it for my chickens a lot when we had our chickens. and. Also, uh, even for myself, I use it as a cleanse. I did a drink that was, you mix diatomaceous earth and bentonite clay with water and you drink that every morning as part of a like intestinal tract cleanse. That does not sound appealing at all to you, but actually it was, it was uh, yeah, whatever. That's it for today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. And if you have any experience, experience uh, deterring mice, uh, let us know in the comments so that we can all learn from each other and keep these mice out of our rigs. So uh, we wish you the best, and we'll see you next time. To wander freely.